That's how many job openings there are going to be next year for technicians. Roughly 12,800 techs are expected to leave the field or retire next year. I was one of those 12,000. Uh, come on, you pe- Well, I was kind of one of the 12,000. I attempted to be one of the 12,000. I thought I was done working on cars. I'm kind of sick of working on cars. You know, I, I dealt with a lot of bad shops and I'm just, I was fed up. I was frustrated. Um, so I quit and I tried to look for another job, but it turns out that a lot of these jobs are kind of shit or they don't pay well. I actually found an independent shop here that uh, specifically works on Land Rovers. We're gonna be branching out doing BMW and Volkswagen too, but right now we're just Land Rovers. And it's a great group of guys. Uh, it's a family, you know, and I've been there a month or two and it's honestly like one of the best jobs I've ever had. Like I'm, all of the guys that work there are like family to me, they're brothers, you know, we all get along, we all work hard, and we all have the same interests. And also too, they're okay with me making videos, me shooting media. I've actually shot an interview with the shop, you know, kind of like for the website, they're revamping the website, so they let me shoot, you know, some marketing stuff for them. I'm also doing some like video stuff, and some photography, and all kinds of other stuff. So, I'm still working on cars. I'm kind of a hypocrite, I guess. I don't know, I just... I couldn't find a good job outside of the automotive field, you know, and I have all these tools, I have all this knowledge, and I'm just kind of used to making a certain amount of money. And it's weird being, you know, put back on the bottom part of a totem pole and getting paid crap pay for a while. It's, it's a hard adjustment. So I'm still working on cars. Coming 2024, I'm gonna start uploading a video every week. I don't think it's gonna be automotive centered. Um, I, don't, I, I think it's kind of boring, automotive stuff. I've gotten into like a lot of hobbies, you know, I'm, I'm making videos, I got into 3D printing, uh, and I've, I've been going pretty hard at like my toolbox for like organization stuff, for ideas for 3D printing. So I think I'm gonna go that route, you know. I like increasing my skill sets, I like learning new skills. I enjoy learning new things, being able to do more stuff. So that's what I'm gonna make this YouTube channel about is DIY. I like, I love DIY stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I like building my own things. I like learning new skills. Um, so that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to do some stuff in the shop, some video stuff, something, if something cool comes up or something interesting pops up, I'm going to make videos on skill sets. I'm going to be building bumpers for this. I have a buddy with the CNC. So we're going to engineer a bunch of bumper stuff and I'm gonna, I got to re-gear this Jeep. I need to do long arm suspension, so I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be turned into content this coming spring. I'm gonna build an overland trailer that I can take with this to go wheeling and camping with the family or with my buddy. Do a lot of 3D printing stuff. I love 3D printing now. It's like my favorite thing to do. Being able to take something that's in your head and then put it on the screen, build something, and then make it is like awesome feeling. That's gonna be a huge part of the channel. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything specific as far as 3D printing or the Jeep goes, but that's where we're at and that's where we're gonna be. Thanks for watching.